Hello, welcome to Ministry Moment of Power with me, Evangelist Dr. Ophelia Griggs. I would like to share with you about the topic, We Are Soldiers. There is an enormous amount of disarray, unsettledness, unrest, and dark situations beyond our control occurring in the world. Since this is the case, I thought about the psalmist's expressions to the Lord while praying. The psalmist is David, and in Psalm chapter 131, verses 1 through 3, he states, Lord, my heart is not haughty, nor mine eyes lofty, neither do I exercise myself in great matters, are in things too high for me. Surely I have behaved and quieted myself as a child that is winged of his mother. My soul is even winged as my soul is even as a winged child. Let Israel hope in the Lord from henceforth and forever. I cannot speak for anyone else, but I do find comfort in Psalm chapter 131. It gives a sense of ease to the mind and assurance about whatever betides us or disturbs us or challenges us, that God will handle it. I discovered this Psalm as putting rest to the point of stillness so that you can hear from God to engage conversations with him and follow his directives or guidance. Therefore, with the indication of Psalm chapter 131, I will direct your attention towards the topic, we are soldiers. We are soldiers. What are the characteristics of a soldier? What is a soldier's strategy? What is a soldier's focus? How does a soldier maintain in a chaotic world of uncertainties? How does a soldier prepare him or herself daily since there are constant wars? Let's stop for a moment and let us explore two types of wars. One type is a silent war, meaning it is mental, internal, unknown abuse of battery, drugs, alcohol, and transmitted diseases. I believe you get the picture I am attempting to paint. In other words, Silent wars are secretive and actual betrayal to oneself. You are in denial that it is happening. You have become numb and have lost yourself in silence. A second type of war is an open war. This type of war is what we see before us. Some examples are the following, the war in Ukraine, black-on-black crime, injustices, inequality, racial intentions, poverty, starvation, environmental pollution, brutality, COVID-19, Delta variant slash Omicron, supposedly another virus is en route, I believe you get the picture about the second type of war. So how do we, the saved and the unsaved, and the just and the unjust, sustain in these wars? When I think about this question, I reflect on the epistle of Paul, a letter he wrote to the Ephesians. In the book of Ephesians chapter 6, verses 11 through 18, Apostle Paul articulated to the Ephesians to put on the full armor of God. 
he lets them know that their battle was not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers of darkness, powers, and principalities. What he was implying to them, and it implies to us today, that our warfare is not carnal. In other words, our warfare is not natural, but spiritual. It is a war against Satan, also known as a thief. He comes to steal, kill, and destroy. John chapter 10, verse 10. More supporting scriptures of Satan tactics in the King James Version Bible are Luke chapter 22, verse 31. Satan desires to have you and sift you as wheat. And 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8. Satan is an adversary as a roaring lion walking about seeking whom he may devour. Christians must dress daily in the armor of God to withstand the evil day. Whether we like it or not, or accept it or not, the times we are living in are treacherous, meaning they are disloyal, unfaithful, and deceitful. I encourage us to put on the armor of God to stand with our loins girt or girt, which means tighten, fixed, bind, or restrain with truth, having on the breastplate of righteousness, feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace, shield of faith, to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Praying always with all prayer and supplication and in the spirit and watching with perseverance and supplication for all saints. And this has come from Ephesians chapter 6, verses 11 through 18 from the King James Version of the Bible. We can not only pray for our immediate circle or ourselves, but for those, meaning the saints, who are in Christ Jesus. Additionally, I emphasize to those who are without the Savior and do not know him in the pardon of your sins to repent. Confess to Christ Jesus your faults. Confess those sins and let him cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Revelations chap Revelation chapter 3 verse 20 informs, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. And this is Jesus Christ saying, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hears my voice and open the door, I will come in into him and will sup with him and he with me. This scripture is telling you to invite Christ Jesus into your heart by receiving him and accepting him. And he will live in you and you will live in him. Consider getting into a relationship with him today and connect with a church that teaches the word of God to develop your faith and growth in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. Until the next time, be blessed and put on the full armor of God.